morning, I'm in Donaghadee today. I've got a shoot with Copeland Gin. We shoot a couple of like pickup shots for the introduction. This is a good test actually of the um, Sennheiser MKE 200 with the wind muffler on because it's very windy today. Temperature here in Northern Ireland in the last week has dropped significantly. I was too loud, idiot. I came down because there was a bunch of oyster catchers just sitting here pecking in the sand. I was gonna try and get a couple of close-ups of them, but uh, I was talking so loud, they pissed off. It is freezing today. It feels too cold to be outside. So this is Copen in Donaghy. This is like the second time back and there's a few other trips to do. Basically, they've got a whole bunch of new distillers and mash tons and kettles and fermenters and stuff and shooting a video for them all about that. So this is the second day, just they're mashing here. Now run through all this is them making their uh, Copeland whiskey. Oh, yeah, there, whatever they forgot. Oh, already forgot what day. Come back. What's all this? That's the left. So all like local local farmers take that for to feed their cattle. There you go. It's pretty cool. It's uh, smells. He's gonna, he's gonna. We get the vlog out of this. We should be charging you really. Well, should you though? Or are you getting extra? <laughs> Probably getting, getting extra, extra advertising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is how far it That's what we all do now. <laughs> Men in our 30s, we buy vans. Fall oh. life, bro. Yeah. Yeah. A little VW trim down the side. While I'm in here, I'm actually going to meet with an estate agent to have a look at a potential studio location in Donaghadee. If you follow my Instagram stories, you'll see I'm not really super happy with where I am in Belfast. The space is great, but. The building's just, it's, it's unbearably noisy. It's in a sketchy location. It's a bit of a slog to get in and out of. Over the last six months, I've realized how nice it is being able to work at home, being near the family, being able to see the kids more. The last two years I've worked that I also don't necessarily need to be in Belfast. I thought at the start when I went freelance, it was super important that I was in Belfast. But I've learned that that's not necessary. Maybe once you build up connections, I guess. If you're starting out, it's probably really helpful. And so, if we're gonna go look at a spot. We're looking at two places. This little town, Donaghy, is so cool. And it's really got like real busy and buzzing in the last couple of years. And like years ago, you'd have come down here and there was nothing, there was nothing here. And now, there's, well, it's just got a little bit of life about it. Oh, that was actually a very, very cool space. Going for a coffee. If you're ever in Donaghadee, Bridewell Coffee do amazing food and coffee. This little town, by the way, through uh, lockdown, well, when everyone, it's been like this insane seaside resort. You come down on the weekends and there's just people everywhere just swimming and hanging out by the sea. The sort of thing you'd see on holiday. What's pretty nuts is um, if you, so if you come down here at high, so this is low tide and like you, all these rocks are exposed and you can walk this, like when this goes really, really low, you can walk right the way out to that pier in the background. But you come here at high tide and the water is right up to the rocks here and there's people swimming like everywhere. Yeah, it's mad. I'm always like mesmerized by tides and how they work. The fact that you can just walk across all this and then later on you can swim pretty deep the whole way across it. Um, the place was pretty cool. It was a weird little shaped room. Rooms, double rooms. Very cool. Tiny bit smaller than the one I'm in at the minute. Uh, a bit, quite a bit smaller than the one I'm in. Probably half, but, but enough room for what I need. Like the studio I have at the minute is ridiculous. It is honestly ridiculous. If you follow my Instagram stories, you'll have seen the videos I've been putting up about the friggin' like, just all the racket that goes on. I'm a man in my mid thirties. I just want quiet. The place I'm in is in this old mill, and when I initially talked to the guy, I had this big open space room, and it was very cool, but it was near like loads and loads of bands, like music bands, rock bands, smell bands, things like that. We're going there. And when I moved in, I loved it. It was a bit of a mess. We had to clean it. it took ages scrubbing the floors, painting everything. And then after a few months of working in it, I just couldn't cope with all the music. Trying to sit and concentrate, and there'd be like these mad amount of bands playing. So I spoke to the guy, and I was like, this is ridiculous. And he was like, well, the other side of the building is offices. Yeah, why did you put me there in the first place? So I went and took a look and I moved to the other side of the building. This is where the shots from up high came from. Before I got a drone, I always had to find ways of getting up high and shooting locator shots to sort of give you an idea of where you are and, and where everything is in relation to that stuff. And, and this is one of those spots, the moat, which is this old, like, Lookout Castle over Donnelly. How cool is this view? 
I think having been limited to what you can do and where you can travel in the last few, like six months, this is, you've, I, I, I personally have grown to appreciate everything that's on my doorstep a lot more. Anyway, so I moved spaces to somewhere that was supposed to be more quiet and I said to the guy, can we get somewhere where there's not gonna be any bands playing or any noise or anything like that? And he's like, yeah, cool, you're in the office area. So we, I moved into the office, into an like, incredible like room with like a studio and separate office thing. And it's great, amazing views of Belfast. Love it. Area's a bit dodgy. The last six months, it's just, there's been more people move in, more bands practicing in the rooms around me. Loads of gyms just opened up. So you've got gym people running about and throing weights down on the ground and music playing and you get the bands practicing and then you've got loads, there's like guys opposite me just come in and out all day and then the dude who's next to me is like an artist, which is cool, but he's grinding on this like stone mill and there's no cutoff point. So it's from about seven in the morning till about midnight. It's just non-stop noise. Really difficult to record anything because the microphones pick up every little piece of noise. So, you know, looking for other alternatives. It's raining in Bangor. The place in Donaghadi and the place I'm looking at here are come two very, very different places. It's funny how we've all also just climatized to masks. Which is, um, it's very different. I'm also very picky as to what I want. What in the the, the room in there is a, is the right size physically, like width, length. It's a little low. There's times where I need like a bit more height for lights. And that's the main concern for me on that. Um, part of like a part of a bigger building and everything, which is kind of cool. And it's weird because it's in like a, it's in an industrial estate, but it's right around the corner from my house. Like I could one wheel here in like four minutes. You know, if that's not a selling point, what is? Um, yeah, if you followed this channel for a while, I've, this is like the this will be the if I move now, it'll be the fourth be the fourth office studio that I've been in, in like three years. I guess it's all right, studio year. Learned a bunch of stuff along the way, things that I like, things that I don't like. Um, and I need a space that's big enough for me to be able to work around and move flashes, move lights and build little things in, but then also something that's quiet enough. A place at the minute is really big and I have lots of room to work with and it is great. High ceilings, big building, big windows and it's great functioning but mentally I can't work in it so it's like it's kind of useless to me you know I definitely have highs and lows and if I'm in a good mood I can deal with the situation but if I'm in a like a low or, or bad mood I really struggle to find that environment inspiring the whole lockdown thing I've really got a new insight into working from the home environment or at least the my home area I do a lot of traveling anyway so it, it feels like a massive ass to have to travel into the city to go and work in a studio, especially when like, I've got a perfectly good set, set up here at home, like a pretty good home office and everything. So things that I really struggle with, which is why working in Belfast is hard, is where does all your gear go? Where does all your stuff go? What are the things you use? The cameras, the mics, the tripods, the lights, the stands, the gimbals, all that crap that we use to produce stuff. But right now at the minute, it's like split in half. So like half of my stuff is at my studio in Belfast, half of it's here. And it's sod's law that it, if I need something randomly, it'll be in a place that I'm not. These things you learn um, along the way, I guess. So I'm slowly getting to, to the office that I think is, is better. And uh, I think also for like creative stimulation, like having to change your minds, being stuck in the same place. I know for me personally, I change all my, my setup at home very often. I, I do that in the studio in Belfast as well. I've moved it and changed it so many times. It's something I really struggled with working in a, in a fixed environment in an agency where you can't just shift stuff about. I just want to change everything around. See, I have a very short attention span. So I looked at two places today, both were cool, but I think the first one I looked at in Donaghy for me looks like it'll work better for what I wanted for. It's in a pretty cool spot, it's by the sea. It's a decent space. It's quite a bit smaller than what I'm currently in, but it's fine for what I need it for. We'll see, maybe this will be the next step in the journey of the offices. But thanks for watching another video. And uh, catch you in the next one. Carbon monoxide alarm. Fuck, I thought that was dead. Oh my God, that was loud.